This is a review of the Ala Lighting strobing brake lights that I purchased for my 2016 Subaru Forester. I've been very impressed with them. I purchased them in April. I've had them on the car since then and right now it's July. The reason I chose this particular uh, lamp is its strobing effect. It will flash four times when you first put on the brakes and I've been doing quite a bit of traveling and with people being distracted drivers using electronic devices and just overall distractions, this is just one more item that might grab their attention, especially when you're on the interstate or just driving through town and, and you're stopping and the person behind you is reading a text. So here's my review. I'll show it on the vehicle. Note, even on this, you're not getting a true representation of the color. You can see that this looks like it is an orange or a yellow. It's a true deep red that you actually uh, will receive once you install the, the uh, lamps. Very impressed. The other thing that is good to know about this, it will operate on the Subaru Forester, both lamps. Other models or manufacturers that I tried, the brake light would only function as a brake. It would not function as a tail light. To replace any of the tail lights on the 2016 Forester, which I think is also probably good for several model years, uh, there are, you can see there's three screws here, but it's only the top two. And this is a 10 millimeter socket. And then you can see this plastic piece, it's slanted. So really, it's going to come back and out because on the outside front of this uh, lens cover, it's got a shoe that it fits in. It has to come straight back. So you just kind of need to pop it a little bit and pull back. And it slides out. Now I've turned the, the uh, assembly, the light assembly, kind of on its side and you can see you can disconnect the main wiring harness if you'd like but for me I, I just let it lay here now you need to be gentle with this or disconnect this but to replace any of the lights now in this case it's the red lamps that I've replaced with the ALA brake and tail light assembly I usually wear some type of glove and then on these contacts I put just a small amount of dielectric, dielectric grease. I use a, a q-tip just get a small amount and I just put it on the contacts try not to get too much And then some people advise to go ahead and take a little of this dielectric grease and put it on your seal because it will seal up moisture. So I'm putting just a very, again, just a very thin layer on this gasket to seal out moisture. And this just clicks in. this, line it up, that would be clockwise, counterclockwise to take it off, and here I'll show you this clip mechanism that holds this assembly in place. Okay, this little square piece here actually has a round part on the lamp housing, there's a, a V-shaped clip that you need to slip on the inside of this round piece. You can see it from the back of the vehicle. Once that's in place, once that's in place, now this guide helps put it right in the right position. It's locked in place, and you just replace the two.
and then you don't want to over tighten because you're this is plastic housing so I just snug it in and there you have it